Hey there, my name is Vex, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the speed run of Resident Evil 7. Uh, we're going to jump right back into this, although I will tell you, this aligns with the other recordings in that I have not recorded this in a bunch of time, because I took a week off or so uh, break from YouTube and Twitch. So, hopefully, we'll be able to jump right back into this. I do have an idea of what we're going to be doing next, but I might be tripped up. We shall see, and the speed run shall commence once again. Let's see, we were doing this one get out of the house and I believe I know exactly where we ended off at well it will tell us after shaking Jack off Ethan receives another call from Zoe she tells him there may be a way for him to get through the main hall he just needs to get there first okay I should remember where we are right now so we want to immediately go out of here and go straight through right yes because we unlocked the main hall didn't we we got the thing or maybe we haven't unlocked it yet uh, maybe we have to put the thing inside of this contraption here yes indeed all right so this opens that we're gonna go ahead and push it forward as fast as possible and now we want to come over to the clock and grab the pendulum okay good and now we want to immediately turn around do we have a gun or yes we have some ammo all right that's gonna be better so we're gonna take this out and actually grab the knife okay so now we want to come back into the main living room hopefully I didn't uh, just miss out on a shortcut there and uh, I don't think so though and then we're gonna come back in here and place the pendulum onto this grandfather clock right here like so that is going to replace that with the Cerberus head which we will take I think it said wolf dog head or something, but it's a Cerberus head because there's three heads and Cerberus is a mythical beast that always has three heads and yeah, it looks like a dog, but you get the picture. Anyways, this is all conjecture. This doesn't matter. Actually, it's not conjecture. Conjecture is guessing, isn't it? And I'm not guessing at anything. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, now we're immediately going to run over here and the phone is going to ring, so we're going to answer it. Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he, he he's a he's dead now. You just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. Alrighty, so we're going to immediately go over here and place the dog head. That's one out of three. Now we're going to head back upstairs. We're looking for a... Uh, well, something that will help us move forward. We don't know exactly what just yet. I believe we've seen the grandma before. Maybe not in that way, but there she is in case you uh, missed her. I didn't miss her whatsoever. We're going to run over here, and hopefully this is the room. I think it is. Yes, indeed. And inside here, if we drain this horrible, horrible bathtub, we're, gr we're going to grab ourselves a wooden statuette. And now I think if we try to exit... Yes, indeed. Hi, Jack. <laughs> Heck of a thing, man. This sure shit beats the hell out of dying. I was forgetting if he places us down kindly or if he slams us. He sort of throws us. Okay, so now we need to um, go back the way that we came. Which reminds me of a Family Guy joke where Kermit the Frog is very racist and dealing with these guys here in Louisiana. Makes sense. Alright, we're going to close this door. Don't know if that matters too much. We're going to head down the stairs. I don't know if Jack can follow us into this section of the house. I'm assuming he can, but I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna place that wooden statu uh, statuette here and try and turn it around. Now this is the part that I'm kind of bad at, but hopefully, oh, is it that easy? Okay, cool. So you have to make it look like the shadow. Obviously, press A and then it'll activate. So we're making really good time here. Um, my, I have a goal in mind for the end of this episode. So hopefully we'll be able to get to that pretty swiftly here. Um, and and I'm, again, I'm going to try to not spoil too many things as well, just in case you're watching this for the first time or you don't really know what to expect. But we're going to go through that crawl space and we're going to duck through. Uh, we're not going to duck through there. I lied. And I believe there is a save room in here, right? Is there a save? Oh, God, I don't remember. I guess not. So we're going to keep moving on. Okay, so right here we're going to come in what? contact with the mold, but we're not even going to stop to see them. We're just going to keep moving on, actually. We're going to go down here, and in this room is going to be our next save point. So we are safe in here, and we don't want to activate the... Uh, don't want to activate the... Oh, what is that? Oh, we need a lockpick. Okay, how about here? I think there's some chem fluid or an herb. Cool beans. And we're just going to quickly look around in here and see if we can find anything. That's not what we want. All right, and now we're going to save the game on the easy save. 
just like that. So we've got a little save there. Okay, now we're going to move on. This is going to be the hard part, at least for me, because I don't like closed spaces. And we just came in contact with the mold enemy. You guys didn't get really a good view of it, but uh, you guys will get a better view very soon. So we're going to move through here. And, I, and this is the part that might trick me up or trip me up. Uh, especially because we need to sort of move past these guys and hope that they don't attack us too much. See, right here... Okay, yes, yes, we want to get to here and move this thing. And then we want to immediately go straight forward as well. The guy's right behind us. Ugh, you can hear him. Okay, and over here is going to be our scorpion key. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there was a, uh, a bunch of scorpion doors and stuff like that. Okay, and now we need to get ourselves another key, actually, before we move on. Okay, there's going to be a lot of these guys moving in through here. Um, I forget if I can unlock this here. It's locked from the other side. Crap. Okay, is this where we need to go? I think so. Yeah, all right. We're going to close that door. And then, yes. All right, so this is a little puzzle. We want to activate this. And then this. And that should activate the last one. Yes, indeed. So we want to sort of walk around these guys. Oh, gosh. All right. Walk around this guy. Come on, do your thing. Nice job, man. Nice job. All right, we need to activate this. Come on. Okay, and this guy is actually going to have a key, but we don't need to fight him. There's the key. I think we're going to get hit. Okay, we just need to get past these guys. Like so. All right, now this guy's going to be here, but that's okay. Uh, okay, and I think this is the door that we want. Right? Yes. Oh, man, this is so, like, adrenaline, adrenaline filling. All right, we need to go this way. And then open this. And then head over here. We just got a key for this door, I believe. Oh, we need to find it. That's lame. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Don't kill me. Come on. Open the door. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. I have no idea what happened there. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Again, if we press retry, it keeps saving the time. So, we want to press end instead. Oh, Jesus. All right. Um, now we're going to load the game again. And it's not the auto save, I don't think. I think we want the main save and just do everything that we did, right? 3844. Yeah, the auto save is. I don't think that's. Yeah, the auto save is right after, so this doesn't even matter. We're going to reload the save and it should continue at the same time that we were at. But you can see how hectic this is, man. It's so. Ugh! <laughs> it's so like it, it fills you with so much adrenaline when you do this. All right, so let's try that again. Uh, you guys know basically what we're trying to do here now. Uh, the problem can we get the other key first? I don't know if that's better. Maybe we'll try that? Huh. So let's see. We'll go down this hallway. And uh, this dude's going to be right over here. Hi there. Maybe it's not better. Yeah, I think we'll just do the do it the same way that we did it before. We just need to be a little bit faster because that guy, yeah, he hit you near the end there. Okay, so moving through here. I think we want to open this. Okay, we unlocked it. There we go. Yeah, that's what we wanted to do. All right, now we can grab the scorpion key and maybe save a little bit of time, but if we, you know, try to run past this guy immediately, but it's it's okay. It's whatever. All right, I don't know if going through the left uh, will save us some time, so I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to keep going this way and attempt to go into the uh, whatever this room is called. I forget. Okay, and now we're going to hit the hand again. And the last one... And then this one. Damn it. Come on. Open! It's not opening! Okay, there we go. Alright. Oh, jeez. Alright. Grab that. Cool. Okay, go back through here. There should be a guy in here, I think. Hi there. Okay. This one opens. We don't need to tap A. That was my mistake before. Then we go through here. Excuse me. Maybe close the door, although it doesn't really matter. They can't open doors, that's the thing. Okay, so get past this guy. Damn it! Activate the key. Activate the key! Now open it! Open it! I... Oh my god, it opens it so slowly. Ugh. Yeah, it opens it really slowly. Um, okay. How are we gonna... I mean, I could use a... Med thing or whatever, the first aid kit, but I really feel like I don't have to. Huh. Hmm. And I'm, I'm really slow on the draw. I need to use the D-pad. That's the thing. I need to use the D-pad for, um, 
Okay, so can we combine some stuff? Yeah, let's go ahead and combine one of those, and then we can press RB to utilize it. Um, I need to use the D-pad in order to uh, pick items faster, because these left sticks aren't really the most responsive. On my on the controller that I'm using, it's kind of they're kind of uh, delayed. Okay. Oh my God! All right. Well, he did that instantly. That's not cool. So we'll probably definitely have to use. A first aid kit here in a second. I think I've mentioned that you actually do regenerate health. Okay, I think I need to activate that. Okay, cool. Grab the scorpion key once more. We're going to try to save some time here by running past him this time. Yes, see. All right, come on over here, buddy. Thank you. Okay. And I guess it doesn't really matter if we close this door or keep it open because they take too long anyways. So, once again, hand... And the last one, that opens this one. Come on! Oh my... Ugh. Sometimes it just doesn't show that A button. Okay, there's our first aid kit. Excuse me. Okay. All right, grab that. This is a bad situation. This is way worse than the previous attempts. Yeah, because they're all over here now. Unless we can squeeze past them. <sighs> okay. All right, through here. Yeah, I need to use the D-pad. and It's like one down. That's how we activate it. Okay, there is a first aid, or a, or a green herb, in that wall. This guy is so annoying. Oh, and now it's not there! Damn it. Now it's not there because we use the... He just opens this, like, this... Okay, we got through somehow. Shoot, where do I go now? Okay. Alright, this is not good, though. Um, our health does regenerate over time, but I don't think we'll be able to live here unless we can... Oh, does it count if we use an herb? I don't know. Maybe if we find a... Maybe if we find, like, a chem fluid thing in here. Because I don't think we'll be able to survive this. But then that also means if we use one... If we use a first aid med... Um, okay, there's one, actually. I think we're just going to have to do this. So, we're, we're going to combine that. But, our, like I said, our health does regenerate. Um, okay, should we just go for it? Or should we... Well, we have a chance. All right, we're just going to go for it. So we'll grab the second Cerberus head here, as you can see. Oh, God, this is so stressful. Whew. Okay, Jack kicks us down. And this is going to be the tricky part, because we don't really have too much ammo. Oh, and he dealt damage to us right off the start. Okay, um, let's go ahead and open this. Get an herb from that. And we're going to need our gun. And we're going to basically just try to shoot him in the head, because we need to get him... To the first, uh, the first little down section. Okay, there we go. So that's all our ammo. Now we need to basically stun him with these things here. Oh, shoot. Damn it, dude. Came out of nowhere. Oh, my gosh. All right, we're going to try to not use the first aid med because um, we've already used one. All right, so we're going to stun him like that. And we need to cut him and then guard when we can. That works. All right, come on over here, Jack. Stun you again. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to do this. We're going to do a thrusting attack on his little uh, weak spot here. Oh, so gross. Okay, now he's going to open this up, which is great because we need ourselves the chainsaw that's inside. There we go. Okay, and I think we're just going to try to dodge him once. Maybe use this. Oh, damn it. That was bad. But you can see we're regenerating health. Okay, and then we're going to try to just basically stun lock him into uh, attacking us. I think this is going to be the fastest way. Like that, basically. Okay, we got to watch out. All right, cool. Okay, we gotta watch out because the engine will shut off as well. So basically, the goal here is to just stun him again, like so. And then hold this down. We got, like, seriously, we gotta watch out for the engine to shut off. Like, right there. Yeah, okay, we pressed X. It's on now. I think if we hold this, though, he can't do anything. Okay, cool. Oh, this is gonna be so great if we can just kill him in one... In one go. Sorry if my commentary is not the best. <laughs> What's he doing? No. 
The engine's almost out, which is gonna mess us up here, watch. Okay, okay, all right. Is it done? I can't tell. Okay, he's stunned again. Okay, engine's off. Need to reload it. Kick it! Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Oh, it didn't reload, damn it, come on. Okay, there we go. Now, kick him. Oh god, I really wanna do this in the first go. Okay, he can get me like that, though. That's the thing that sucks. Oh, please be dead. Are you dead, or are you just gonna go into your thing again? Oh, he's gonna go into... Okay, well, maybe we can kill him here. Yes! I think we got him. Oh. Are you dead? Blow up, please. Blow up. Yes! Oh my gosh, guys. I can't stress how stressful... This is. Alright, I don't even know if we need to watch this. Okay, I think we need to, probably. Yeah, he needs to fall down. Was there any, like, items in here that we could grab in the meantime? Yeah, I think there was some stuff back here, maybe? First aid bed. Perfect. Alright, cool. Uh, so, we, yeah. Alright. Alright, so where we are right now... And stay dead. Okay, let me use this. There we go. So, where we are right now, we've used one first aid med. Uh, we can use two more for an achievement. And we also have not looted an item box once, although we will have to later on. Um, so we're doing pretty good, and we're still making great time, I think. Uh, we're going to hightail it to a save point, and then we are going to end this. I think we need to go back here. Okay, we just need to get past all of the dudes again. Um, I think, right? Where are we? Okay. Oh, I, I think they respawn, so we just have to remember where to go, basically, and I think that I do. So we come out through here. Okay, yeah. Come out through here. They're going to respawn, I think. I don't know what these noises are. All right, so this way. Yes, then this way. Then this way. You can see how this is stressful because it's a labyrinth, man. All right, then this way. And all we need to do is make it to the stairs, and we're golden. I think we're golden. Through here. Oh, I'm so glad we killed him on the first try. I am so, so glad. You guys have no idea. Okay. All right. And we're going to save the game on easy and we are going to end this episode holy crap okay that was that was wonderful we had to reset a couple of times but i thought uh, i thought we'd be able to get to uh, through that bottom section without resetting but you can see it's a little cramped down there also you can see your health regenerates in easy mode and that's really a lifesaver literally and figuratively um so yeah we killed jack in our first go uh and jack is dead well you know, as dead as we can make him at the, at the time. Um, so yeah, perfect. We killed Jack. We got back up. We did a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, we're going to end this episode here. My heart is racing. I know we're just playing a video game, but I, I do have the headphones on my head. So like all of these noises are directly playing like tr into my ears. You can tell I'm like stuttering. I'm all over the place because... Ah, oh, it's just so heart not heart wrenching. It's so like it's 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 adrenaline inducing, like I said. So hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'm enjoying it, but my god, it's stressful. We're gonna beat it though. We're gonna beat it. We're gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>